okay guys welcome back to the channel i'm just saying my piece and we are continuing our series on food insecurity well no doubt a lot of you who are looking at this picture right now recognize this but let us just pick it up for a bit and turn it around this here is a piece of mozzarella yam no I don't know if there's a scientific name for it, and I'm sure there is, and I don't know what it is. So you will excuse my ignorance along that line. But this is a piece of muzzle I am. Now, my estimation is this should be around two and a half pounds. And uh, yeah, that makes a nice meal for about three or four people. But <clears throat> I am not going to cook this. I am going to do something called a mini setting. Now, I'm sure many of you have heard about mini setting, but I'll just give a quick explanation, although I am going to do a demonstration how it's done. Now, this is a piece of yam that can be eaten. It can also be planted. Now, as you look here, you see all these here. These are little nodes right here. And every single node that you see on this, on this piece of yam, will in fact spout and grow so you're looking at many many little nodes on this and each one will grow each one will spout into a large vine now the idea of mini setting is actually very simple <clears throat> instead of planting the yam which would be from the head the part that came off right here which should be about right here and as you can see it looks right there that is where the head came off so this is all food the section that would have been up here would have been inedible and that is what you would have planted and that would have gone into a single hill instead of doing that what we are going to do is cut this into slices around that so the slice would be about an inch and a half so we can get maybe about four slices out of this and then each slice on each slice we are going to cut this across here and cut it across here and then again so we should get about six pieces of yam each piece will have a node or two along the skin section and those will grow now we are going to because this is jamaica we are going to put ashes on the cut side the side that is raw and then stick that up in the sun and have it dried a little bit. We are then going to sprinkle this thing here. This is called rooting powder. And we will then sprinkle that on the side, on the side of the, um, the section here that has the skin. Now that promotes rooting and that promotes all these nodes to begin to um, to grow as quickly as possible now while we are doing that what we do we then set these little pieces these little mini sets that we have cut into a bed of sawdust and dirt now this again being Jamaica we are also going to mix that sawdust and that dirt with a little bit of um, ashes now the reason for that is many fold, but primarily among them is the fact that there is a large amount of nitrogen in the ash and that also promotes rooting. So that's where we are at the moment. So yeah, now we are going to take you to the cutting process and we are also going to show you how we, um, how we set them in the bed of sawdust. So now the question is why mini setting? Well, there's a very good reason. Many times it is very difficult for you to get the heads of these yams to plant because, well, you know, each yam comes with only one head. And many people do not actually bit the head. That is to say they do not cut the head into many pieces. And some yams, in any case, when you cut the heads, they are spoiled, they rot very easily and will not grow. You, in fact, have to plant the head in its entirety in one go. And that is a single hill of yam. 
Now with mini setting, you do not need to use a head. You can just use the actual yam, the part that you would normally eat, and you can grow that. Additionally, with mini setting, you do not need to dig those big yam hills and fill them with grass and all that other sort of thing. You can simply do what is called rowing or drilling. Rowing or drilling is simply making up a mound, a long mound of dirt. So you would get a fork or a hoe or whatever and a implements you have and you would simply just make a long mound of dirt and the idea being that you would then plant after you have set the yams those mini sets and they have grown then you would transplant them and you would plant them in those mounds or those rows and it does really not take a lot of land to do that in fact, anybody anywhere in Jamaica can do it. If you live in Kingston, Montego Bay, as long as you have a space that is maybe around, um, let us say, um, 10 feet long and 25 feet wide, you can plant yam that will grow. And you can cultivate a lot of yam. Now, each set, each mini set, will, depending on the type of yam that you have planted, and we are talking about mozzarella right here, these mozzarella yams, each one will give you a yam that is maybe about two to three pounds. And with this small piece of yam that we have just talked about, we are going to get six fours, 24 pieces minimum. So we'll get about 24 sets out of that. And of course, each set will give you a yam that is between, sometimes you'll get a one pound, but one pound and you'll get an extreme of four pounds. But that is the range of the yams and they are small. And it is edible from the top to the bottom. So from the very ed end of the yam, one end to the other, there is no head on it. So it is all food. And you want a mini set again, you grab one of those and you cut them back up into little pieces and you do it all over again. So as you can tell, the mini setting is ideal for pretty much any small gardener, anybody who wants to plant yam. And this mini set can be done with pretty much any ground produce. So you can also do this with sweet potatoes, although you can simply grab the vine of the sweet potato and plant that and that will grow. But I digress. So the mini setting is actually ideal for anyone, any gardener who wants to produce their own food, their own yams. So that's what we're doing. So we are going to take you now to the actual process of beating the yams up and showing you how it is actually done. Thank you very much.